my dear sisters and brothers <clears throat> when you go to confession <clears throat> you are actually naming the things that don't go right with you you will say i'm telling lies i'm uh, cheating i'm not having good thoughts so we are naming them now st ignatius told us just this you must name what you want to really root out you know pluck it out if you don't know then what are you going to be plucking out what are you going to empty out from there you have to name it once you name it then you can claim it so what did he say you must have a particular examine to take away those faults which are internally structured inside us and that is what evil does with us we cooperate with him when we are on ourselves we think this is right i remember once this is what happened there were a lot of things on the table and you know a youngster came he saw many things he picked up a few and went away then we were looking for these things and then afterwards we realized ah there was one person who came here so we were able to spot out name the person so we went and gently asked him did you happen to take those things because you like them and he confessed he said yes so what did we say would you like to give them back or would you like to keep them with you say okay i'll give this but can i take this he said okay you can take that so you see what happens when you name something then you can also claim it you ask whether this is happening the next step so also in our lying suppose we take one thing i tell lies so when do i tell lies ah there might be many instances when i tell lies you know when someone confronts me i tell a lie i want to escape from it oh i have done something and i don't want to acknowledge it because i have taken something from somewhere i tell a lie but then what happens lying becomes a part of my life so there are many lies i tell i tell simply some stories about something or about other people now you see where lies have gone it's not truth it's a lie so we must be able to name it if you want to claim it i am lying so when you go to the priest you must say i'm lying at such times at this times at those times this is what i've done when you do this it is not just your work it is also the work of the holy spirit it is the grace of god that is helping you to become now more holy not by you removing them but when you remove them with the help of jesus the lord's presence is in you and he will shine through you so these are like you know uh, scales things that we hide him and we do not allow so we live a very artificial life it's not a natural life we should be living with him and through him and in him but we are living another kind of life of our own this is what sins do to us and therefore st ignatius said if you want to take out one of those things you do a particular examine and we when we were in the novitiate we had one kind of a uh, uh, this thing uh, a wire gauze and every time we made one of those supposing i'm lying every time i've lied i would put one of those things down beads down and i would see within 2 hours time how many times i have lied then i would on a sheet of paper make one uh, mark there one then i would go back but in the next 2 hours if i have done some more are they are little less okay good you realize that in the morning in the evening half there are so many times you may have done but when you compare it on the second day it is becoming less just naming it is claiming it and giving yourself to the lord and he is helping you slowly to get out of it so that is how 
we were trained not only for the general exam each day which we do but also a particular exam which we want to bring it out and that is how he said afterwards when we remain more in union with jesus we will not be doing such things because we also abhor them we don't like them actually we also don't like them when we are doing it but we can't get out of it and this is the way to do it to have a particular exam today we see how moses and the people he has brought them out they are grumbling against god they saying where is god now so he appears to them on the mountain and he says you must be dressed up well no they are in the desert okay you know in the desert it is tough but anyway they are dressed up for god and when god appears on the mountain that's why there's so much of mountain god on the mountain but god on the plains and in the tent also you will see it but he comes in a cloud and that's how they experienced him he comes in a cloud and there's lightning and thundering but it's not consumed so his presence is there with all and trembling they are there with him and moses goes to meet god and you will see now he will bring the tablets down and how the people once he's gone okay do whatever you want they start reveling in their filth and then god you know really says this is a hard hearted people this is what can happen when we are not alert when we are not present then we can lose everything that we have gained because our nature is such that we easily get into our lower ways of living and that's the reason why he keeps telling us he keeps reminding us but do we listen no how can we listen if we are internally only with our own things someone says to us all of us are doing the same thing when someone tells you something no you don't tell me what i have to do i know everything that is our attitude that means we are not listening but what is the person saying and who is saying to me is the person saying to me or is jesus telling me something even if the person is wicked even if the person is a sinner but sometimes god speaks through that not because we are saying that you know this is a wicked person and therefore i must listen to them no god can speak through everyone that's why you know there was a heresy which had uh, cropped up which is called pelagianism that means the person who is now me i should be pure and without sin to be able to do the sacrifice of the mass god jesus is coming through me and blessing the bread and wine and he's making his body and blood and if he is sin sin he cannot do that and the church said no even if we are sinners god still continues to work in us he cannot be denied he works through all of us every one of us can we claim ourselves as holy not by ourselves we cannot do anything if we have even desired to do it and we can do it tomorrow we can't do it the same way so we are weak we need god's help we need god's grace and this realization as we get it then we become truly what we want to be christians we rely on him and in him we can do all things as it is told to us in scriptures my dear sisters and brothers let us be more attentive to his presence and we will see how st ignatius really lived not just only when i tell you the external life but the internal life of how he lived it so these are some of the points that we have taken to know how to live internally set free from our own ego self and the ways of god can permeate in us let's hold our hands keep our eyes closed back straight and every moment god is with us remember in genesis he has told us he breathed into the nostrils the breath of life god is breathing in us at every moment this life he says is me i am the life the truth and the way so jesus is with us and he says remain in me as i remain in you <clears throat> 
so we have an opportunity every breath to live with him as he lives with us